Well, good evening. Dee Santo says she's beside herself. Her family dog is dead, and her 17-year-old daughter in the hospital right now being observed after suffering what she says was a mental breakdown. Not only did her daughter witness the uh, mauling and death of the family dog, but also got bit by that pit bull uh, and suffered a bite and a broken bone in her hand. Now, here's a picture of a little Rocco, a six-year-old Yorkie. Yesterday, a friend of Santos's daughter stopped to their apartment, which is just up the road from the Greater Androscoggin and Humane Society in Lewiston. The friend was looking to adopt a pit bull mix. The animal shelter does allow potential adoptees to take animals out for a walk, but they told him to stay close to the facility and avoid other animals. Santos's daughter and her two young sons were all in the apartment, and as soon as the pit bull entered the apartment, they say it went straight for Rocco's neck. Dog and dog. It was, I mean, all of this, it was eaten up by that dog. He had a, this open, it was very, it was very dramatic. My house is like the floor is full of blood. I mean, it's just, yeah, it was very bad. Now, the director of the Humane Society says he feels uh, absolutely terrible about all this. The staff members are upset as well. He says that um, Santos um, is calling for actually some reforms there about their policies. He says he'll look into that. He wants to meet with her. As far as the pit bull, they want to keep it quarantined for 10 days to make sure it doesn't have rabies, and then it will be euthanized. We're live in Portland. Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.